Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Anibal Rodriguez and you're watching The Sit Down. The only reason a warrior is alive is to fight. And the only reason a warrior fights is to win. And on January 7th, Spar Star Promotions brings you two modern day warriors ready to fight for the Spar Star Featherweight Championship belt and the state championship belt as well. To my right, I have the current undefeated champion, Tony Cortez. He has the Spar Star Featherweight Championship belt, the California State Championship belt, and the EFL Lightweight Championship belt. To my left, I have his opponent. He is the top contender, ready to take it all away, Quest Truxton. Now, in today's world with social media, it's very easy to talk trash. Today, we have these warriors facing off, looking at each other in the eyes, ready to find out if they're ready for this battle. Only one person will come out successful with that belt and their hand raised. Who will it be? So Tony, I'm gonna open up this uh, sit down interview to you. Uh, you are on uh, what you believe, destined for glory, destined for greatness. This is your, your last amateur fight before you go pro. What do you see happening on January 7th? I see me putting Quest out of consciousness and taking everything he loves away from him. How do you feel about that quest? I don't know, it didn't seem genuine to me. Well, do you feel genuine? I actually came a little bit more prepared than I thought for you. <laughs> right, quest, I brought you a ski mask. Oh, oh you did? I figured you, you got a problem with being yourself or something, brother. Let it out. This whole Floyd Mayweather, Jake Paul shit, Nobody wants to see that. We've seen that. I want to see Tony. Let me see Tony, you know? Mm -hmm. Let it out. You when you go him. pro, too, let that shit out. Nobody wants to see this shit. We've seen this shit before. Floyd Mayweather, Jake Paul. Do your own thing. I've heard it in the way you talk, too. You're talking shit. You jump in my DMs. You start posting shit. What's that for? That's not for you. You think it's to hype you up. It's because you've seen it. Stop imitating. Let's see Tony. I fuck with Tony. I listened to you on that podcast. I fuck with the real Tony. People will fuck with the real Tony. Come on, bro. Well said. This is this is coming from a guy who got motivated by Conor McGregor to start fighting. Where did that come from? From your podcast. Which podcast? The one that I listened to. The one that you said that your hand is hurt. Oh, when I saw him, yeah, I got motivated. How many by times Conor have McGregor. you broke your hand? I'm allowed to get motivated. Twenty twice. times. Twice. twice. Okay. I might just break it again on your head. How about that? Yeah. What do you see happening, Quest, on January seventh? We'll see. You know, I'm not a mystic yet. I only got four amateur fights. Yeah. But we're how old are you? Huh? 26. 26. Yeah, what do with I need four a job? amateur yeah. fights. Oh, that's crazy. How long have you been I training for? I must just be fucking trash. Huh? Four years. Four what years. What about you? Ten? Okay. Your whole life? Yeah. What are you doing fighting a guy with four fucking years under his belt then? When I got ten years under my belt, you know damn for sure you're I'm not pawn. fighting guys with four that's years. What, that's why I'm fighting you because you're a pawn. You're just oh. a stepping stone. Oh. You're another okay. thing on the chessboard to get me to where I need to be. So you're not taking challenges, is what I hear. How many so times you're has not he challenge? said? How many times has he said? So he obviously he doesn't. Think well, you he obviously don't think challenge. so. You just said so. Well, no, I'm gonna it. prove that you're not a challenge. Okay, you're gonna prove it. Yes. Okay. January seventh. I'm gonna prove that you are a challenge, and I'm gonna overcome it. You've How never overcome it. You've never overcome any okay. challenges in For your sure. life. For sure. What have you gone through? What have you overcome? Don't worry about it, picture, on my podcast. picture your head is a box and Satan lives in there and he's messing with you every single day and you have to live with that and then you have to overcome that and then now you're here That's and now you're in you. front That's of why this I fuck guy with you, I know you've now seen you're in front Satan. of this guy and this devil. guy's saying that you can't overcome it. the fight with him Tony, take the I've mask conquered off. myself take buddy the mask off. this mask is a part of me Okay. I've made okay. it a part of me Okay. okay? understand that okay. Tony how do, you, how do you plan on beating Quest? Everywhere. I can out-wrestle him, I can out-strike him, I can out jujitsu him. I'm better than him everywhere and he knows it. Look at his face. He's ready to lose. His chin, he's gonna wax it up before the fight just so I can see it real nice and clear. And I'm gonna punch it and I'm gonna punch through it with everything, everything that I feel. I promise you, you don't feel like me. You don't want to hurt people as much as I do. And I can see it in your face. Quest. On our podcast, you said Tony is, to this point, your toughest opponent going into this fight. How do you plan on beating Tony? Um, I think the best way to beat him is just be myself and be in the moment. 
I'm pretty dangerous when I'm in the moment. I'm not worried about other shit. I'm not, oh, he's got wrestling, or oh, what's he gonna do if he gets me down, or what can I do to catch him? When I'm just in the moment, I'm my most dangerous, and this is gonna be a big moment, so I plan on rising to the occasion. The beautiful thing about fighting, the fighting world, is that both of you guys are here to win, and both of you have a strong mentality. I've interviewed both of you on my podcast, and uh, I see a fighter's heart in both of you, and this is gonna be a really exciting fight. I'm really looking forward to January 7th. I can feel the tension in the room. I can see you guys looking at each other, and you are being your genuine self, and this is not a game. This is a fight. So, a question for you, Tony. Um, what would you like to ask Quest? Why don't you text me back? It hurts my feelings, Quest. It really does. I want, I want to hear from you. I Give me a call this. sometimes. I think you need this. FaceTime me. Face to face. Talk to me. Bear face to face. I wanted to come and look you in the you eye. You will and look see at me. What you're about. Face I'm to seeing face. It right now. Look, listen. I'm seeing listen, it. listen. 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 When you look across this the cage, this is high school. I'm not fucking DMing you. you I know you'd love that. This guy's like an something obsessive ex. And somebody that he's got to let me. I am. He's got to let me. He's got to let me know I watch that everything he's doing you good. Do. I if know. I could, I would watch you sleep. I really would. I like that. I really would. I and I would you. think about all the terrible things that I want to do to you January 7th. And trust me, if the ref was not there, you would not be here anymore. I promise you that. You can't say the same. It's not in you. It doesn't live in you. Does it? it really doesn't. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we will. I guess you'll find out. You. I guess you'll find out. You might find out a few seconds later. A few seconds yeah, later? Yeah, because you'll be asleep. Your ass up. You'll be asleep. No, you won't. Yes. Who, you who have you knocked out? Like this. Who have you like knocked this. out? It doesn't matter, bro. Have you knocked anybody out? Yeah. Have you put anybody away? Yes. Have you done anything terrible in your life, your whole life? I don't have to do terrible things. This is not just a zone for terribleness. You know that. I know that's how you treat it. Buddy, what I told you, something terrible lives inside my I head. I know, and I I've contained it, it and I bring out. it all Let for you. It's all for That's you. Not how I have Let to me fight. show you how much I love you. I don't have to fight. Let me show you how much I, I love you. I don't have you. to fight out of here. I contained it. I conquered myself. That's great. I love that. That's why you're here. That's why we're both here. That's why I'm going to be the best in the world, buddy. And you're a pawn. Okay? At this point, what would you like to say or ask, I'm sorry, your opponent, Tony? Why the mask, man? Why the mask? Mm -hmm. Because January 7th, when you look across the cage, you're gonna see something, somebody that you've never seen before in your life. You've grown up in a different area. You're on the other side of the world. Here I am, right. You're I'm one percent. Looking you right in the eyes, right in the eyes. Am I, I gonna fight you right now? I can see the dog. No, I'm not asking you to fight me right now. Plus, there's a table between us. So what are you gonna do? Shoot? Nope. Are you gonna shoot? No. Bring out the you gun. You know and I'm shoot not me. gonna shoot. I'm talking about shoot. Get a knife. Down. Stab you me in the shoot. fucking neck. You I want to die for a right here. Down and this Go ahead. In your way. Go ahead. You shoot if I die fighting, that's what you I die doing do. what I, I love. I know you're not gonna fight me with this okay? between us. That's what. I'll that's what the cage is for. That's what we're here for. Listen, if I died fighting, I die doing what I love. Okay. That's not how you feel. You're not ready so, to kill or be killed. Die, you can go home. What am I doing? To your fiance the best and your pug. Yeah. Hey. Okay. You know I will. Yeah. You know I will. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe, no, not. maybe not. We'll see. No, we'll see. Yeah. Make sure the ref is fast. Okay. Dino almost got put out forever. For sure. Dino. Yep. Yeah, Dino. Yeah. He's better than you. Is he? Yeah. Better record. Yeah. He handled, fought better he fighters. He handled this very well. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't no. come out to fight. Okay. You know he didn't. Hopefully come out to you fight. do. Thank you. I'm Thank here you. to fight. Shake my hand. I'm here to fight, brother. Thank you. I'm no, shake fight. my hand like a man. Thank you. Fight, Thank you. Wow, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, tell me. Tony, at this point, it's the last question for this interview. What would you like to tell Quest? I feel sorry for you. I really do. You have to go in there and lock yourself in a cage against me, but I want to say that I'm thankful. I'm thankful you're here. I'm thankful I get to see the body that, <laughs> you know? That I. <laughs> January 7th, just remember that. Quest, last question. What would you like to tell Tony? Get ready, last get one. ready. Yeah. What was that? This is the last question. This is the last question. Ooh. What would you like to tell Tony? What would I like to tell him? He's in front of you. You guys will be seeing each other on January 7th at the Commerce Casino. Inside of a cage is just you two throwing bones. 
What would you like to tell him? There's nothing left to say. That's a perfect way. Ladies and gentlemen, on January 7th, we're gonna bring you two warriors. This is gonna be an epic fight. I'm excited to see it. These guys are ready to fight. We're gonna end this now before we have a, a brawl here, which we won't. Uh, make sure you guys go to sspmma.com, purchase your tickets today. Uh, promo code Cortez, if your bet is on Tony, promo code Truxton, T-R-U-X-T-O-N, if your bet is on Quest, and we'll see you guys next time. Come on in.